Last year, we saw the feature of Dodge with the Charter Daytona EV concept. And now this year, we have Ram's attempt to prepare you to the future with the Ram Revolution concept pickup truck. Now, having been a TRX owner, I can see all the influences of that truck. And me personally, I don't really like the look of this particular EV. But I'm going to be objective and give you plenty of information that you probably haven't heard about. From the paint options, battery size, motor configurations, software options, and information about the HD truck version. So enough of this fluff, let's get into the EV stuff. So let's start with colors. Now Ram didn't announce any colors officially, but if you watch their creator series videos that they released after the reveal, you see a bunch of different colors that this truck could potentially come in. So in this clip, we see a darker color red, gray, and a black paint sample. And then the next clip, we see an orange, a blue, and a black. I believe we see black in both frames because they might do the same paint scheme like they do with the TRX and paint the lower half of the truck black as you can see with the photos of the Ram Revolution concept truck. If we go to the next clip, we see all the colors laid out. We see white, gray, red, blue, teal, another light gray color, orange, and green at the end. If you remember the Dodge Charter Daytona at SEMA last year, you'll see mostly the same colors that will be used on both EVs. In the future, Solanus has said that we'll be sharing as many components as possible. So what you see on one vehicle, you have a very high possibility that it'll be shared with others. Now we're working on these vehicles together, which allows us to share some of the most costly components in a way never before done. Now let's get into the powertrain and range. We know for this particular version that it'll have two electric motors, one in the front and one in the rear. The Ram CEO specifically said all will drive during the live stream of the CES event. The Ram 1500 Revolution BEV concept features all-wheel drive capability and is powered by two dedicated EDMs which are positioned towards the front and the rear of the vehicle. I will say the one thing that made me mad was how Ram linked the introduction video of the Ram Revolution on their YouTube page and not the actual live stream of the event. So some information I give out will be from the live stream that most people have not even seen. If you want to check out the hour long live stream, check out CES's YouTube page. But as far as stats, this particular version is going to have dual motor configuration, independent rear suspension with rear wheel steering. I actually broke that down back in 2021 during Solana's EV day. Now, Ram didn't say what size battery pack this particular version would have, but it did say in 2021 that it would be over 200 kilowatt hours. Now, for comparison, it'll be right around the same size as the battery pack in the Hummer EV. Now, as far as horsepower, based on EV motor specs and EV day, the max horsepower should be around 800. The most comparable EV truck to the Ram Revolution will be the Chevy RST Silverado EV. They are basically the exact same truck with the same stats. Both have dual mode configurations, both have battery packs around 200 kilowatt hours, but they will both have air suspension, rear wheel steering, a mid gate, around the same horsepower, body on frame configuration, and both can gain around 100 miles of range in 10 minutes on a public fast charger. So these two vehicles are very, very close to one another, and I even pointed it out last year in this video that you can check out as well. Now with these two vehicles being very close to one another, I'm going to pretty much assume that the price range and the weight are going to be right around the same as well. Now the RST Silverado is over $100,000. The Hummer EV is in the same price range as well, so I spent the top model of the Ram Revolution to be around that same $100,000 price range. And I'll also go ahead and say that Ram did not talk about any budgeted work truck model or a hybrid version that we all know that's coming. So with the Silverado EV being so close to the Ram Revolution, I would expect Ram to be in the same ballpark for each trim they're going to come out with. And I will say you won't see 10 versions of the truck. Solanus has already confirmed they will offer less trims and basically only make a couple of versions based on the EV motor configuration and battery pack sizes, similar to what Tesla does. 
Instead of hiding certain options behind different trim levels, the EVs are going to be fully loaded with all the tech, then software locked. And then you're going to unlock all the features through over there updates like horsepower, heated seats, or low capacity. You can watch this video that covers Solana's new business model of being a software company getting the monthly subscription fees. If the past was about increasing margins by moving customers north in hardware and trim levels, our future is about offering customers software-based services. We will give our customers the ability to upgrade their vehicles in real time. Dodge is developing performance upgrades, including driver tunable software that will deliver an immediate horsepower boost. Software will also enable Alfa Romeo to enhance the sportiness and bring the driver-centric experience to the next level. And for our Ram pickup owners, customers can increase the capability of their truck to handle greater loads. But you can see a prime example of less trims with a Charter Daytona EV. Dodge will only offer three trims and you have to buy the top motor version in order to get the most powerful model. And that's why we said, hey, we're gonna launch three different trim levels, but two power levels up on each of those trim levels is gonna be available through direct connection. So you buy the first car, and we're going to give you the hardware that we're not going to out let you outrun your suspension, your wheels, your tires, your brakes. So we're, we're going to bake that capability in. Um, if you buy the car and you never upgrade it, did you overpay a little bit? Yeah, maybe a little bit. I expect for Ram, they're probably going to do the same thing and only offer maybe like a big horn, probably a Laramie, and most likely like a limited high spec version. As far as a Rebel or TRX off-road version, the Ram CEO said that they left room to upgrade this truck to a high performance model. Designed to accommodate larger capacity EDMs, the Revolution BEV concept offers the potential for future high performance applications. So I'm going to bet that we will see Ram do a dual motor configuration on a Rebel and then step up to a tri-motor version with a TRX. Add some off-road tires and most likely we'll see electronic suspension that I cover in this video from Patents that Solanus filed last year. If a TRX version goes tri-motor, it'll most likely be around the same horsepower as the Banshee system, which I expect to be at least a thousand horsepower based on EV motor specs from EV Day back in 2021. The Charter Daytona EV has to compete with a Tesla Model S Plaid, which is a thousand horsepower. Solanus is actually capable of building a vehicle closer to 1,300 horsepower but according to Maserati, the company will detune cars down to certain horsepower levels. Ram actually teased the TRX EV a few weeks ago in a video that they now deleted off their YouTube page. If you freeze frame the footage, you can see a couple of different hood scoop designs. Now you might say, why would an EV have a hood scoop if there is no engine? Now I asked the same question when Ram decides to make fake intakes on the new Ram Rebel HD truck or even fake hood extractors on the TRX. Just saying. Now let me talk about the future of the HD trucks. Now we didn't see any mention of it from videos on Ram's page, but I'll play this clip from the live stream covered by CES. Our zero emission reality also relies on cutting edge hydrogen fuel cell technology. A few days ago, we announced a strategic investment in Symbio one of the world's leading companies in this space. This will speed our ability to bring large vans and later heavy duty trucks powered by hydrogen. So it seems the future of the HD trucks for now won't be fully electric vehicles, which makes sense because unless you're as big as a Tesla Semi, you're not gonna get a lot of range towing boats and car trailers. So this seems like the reason why they're using alternative fuels like hydrogen and then using common fuel agnostic engines that should be available in the next couple of years. So Landon's business model going forward will be selling fewer vehicles, having less employees, and getting the monthly subscription fees from customers. Now you can watch this video where I talk about the banning of microtransactions. Now last year, Solana said Ram was going to make you pay extra to increase your payload capacity that I said earlier. The Ram Revolution will ride on air suspension. Just like with a Hummer EV, you have multiple ride heights, off-road mode, and you also bar the Hummer's crowd walk mode. And you also have four-wheel steering, where the wheels will turn in the opposite direction 
allowing you to have a tighter turn radius. Now with the Hummer EV, the rear wheels will turn 10 degrees and Ram is giving you a little bit more capability. But instead of going 10 degrees, you're gonna do 15 degrees on the rear of the Ram Revolution. Now this concept features four wheel steering with up to 15 degrees of articulation and is designed to offer greater vehicle maneuverability while parking at low speed, on tight off-road trails, and increases the vehicle's speed steering response at high speeds. Moving on to body features, the Ram Revolution will have a frunk in the front and will also come with a pass-through door to the main cabin in order to carry long items. You can see a similar option from Bollinger's EVs. Also in the front, we have power tow hooks that will deploy down when you need them. Moving to the wheels, truck has 24 inch wheels. Now we don't know if they will be an option or they'll be standard, but the Silverado EV was revealed with 24s as well. Moving to the cab, starting from the bottom up, the EV will have built-in power side steps. Moving up to the door, this truck will have suicide doors on a pickup truck. Ram said this is a concept truck, so we don't know if they will keep the doors, but given the big notch taken out of the cab in the rear, it's gonna be interesting to see how Ram proceeds going forward. Another interesting thing is the track system in the floor that allows you to slide the chairs and even the center console all throughout the cab. Now the dash, there will be two screens. One that stays attached to the top of the dash, and then we have a second one that allows you to slide it in three different positions at the bottom and also let you remove it as a tablet. A full touch, touch screen display comprised of two screens offers up to 28 inches of screen space. The lower display has three different positions and can even be removed and used in other parts of the truck. The upper screen can slide on the Ram track attachment system. The steering wheel also has the ability to go into the dash if we ever get fully autonomous vehicles. A flat top and bottom collapsible steering wheel tucks out of the way when parked or in an autonomous mode, offering more space to work on a computer or a tablet. Now we move to the mid gate, which had jump seats built into it, allowing this truck to have three rows of seating. If you don't know what a mid gate is, in 2002, GM put this feature in vehicles like the Chevy Avalanche. I own the 2003 version and I still own my 2004 Chevy Avalanche. Now the mid gate allows the wall behind the rear seats to fold down to allow you to have a longer bed. Now the rear tailgate is a multifunction tailgate similar to what we've seen from Ram in the past and the rear bed floor can slide outwards to the edge of the tailgate to give you even more storage space. Add in the hole in the front that I talked about earlier and you have about 18 feet of hauling long pieces of lumber. Looking to run 18 foot boards or that restored sailboat mast? Ram Revolution's mid gate with powered glass enables a pass through from the tailgate straight to the front that can haul objects up to 18 feet long. And if you need more storage, the Ram boxes make a return, but this time the whole side of the bed opens up. Now we move it to the roof and we get one piece of glass from the windshield all the way back towards the rear window. To get the body back in strength, you have a frame up top and that's how you get this upper control panel and the rear view mirror within this little section. The full glass roof features an electrochromatic panel and its tinting can be changed with a swipe. And below the integrated roof rails, the cabin features ambient lighting that's operated through the overhead console. The upper control panel will let you tint the upper glass and also let you control the ambient lighting in the cab. If tactile touchscreen swiping enables occupants to configure the sun visors or the entire electrochromatic roof with ease. Now let's run through the technology that was mentioned. We have an augmented heads up display. Ram gives a preview that you can see with kids moving through objects. We got shadow mode that lets the truck follow behind you. We get voice commands when you're outside the truck. We get biometric recognition. We get a selfie mode while you're outside of the truck. We get front and rear projectors. We get the ability to control your truck from your smart home. And finally, we have a robot that will drive under your truck and charge it while it's sitting at home. And with our upcoming new inductive robot charger or Ram charger, that will make home charging as easy as possible. You see, it intelligently detects the vehicle's presence along with its charging needs. 
and then automatically moves into position and it lines itself under the vehicle. And smart charge capability will allow charging during off-peak time, providing more convenience and peace of mind for our customers. And that's pretty much everything I can pull together from several videos in a few different locations about the Ram Revolution. Now, Ram clearly states that this is a concept truck, so I, I would expect some of these features that would not make it into production. Like, I don't expect the steering wheel to go into the dash or the, the AI robot charging your truck since the majority of these vehicles do not fit in people's garages. The Ram Revolution has some interesting features for sure, and I don't quite think it is a home run either, but I'll save that for another video. But if you found this video helpful, leave me a like and a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, because there's a lot of interesting things I had to talk about in 2023. Go grab yourself a last call shirt on your way out. And until the next video, I'm out.